This video is gonna be about how you can get a BS in science education, secondary chemistry degree at WGU in one year or less. WGU, if you didn't know, is Western Governors University, and it's a college that allows you to get degrees at a much faster pace. So it's an essentially an accelerated college, also known as competency-based education. Now, I have talked about this college extensively on this channel. It's a phenomenal option for a lot of people. It's not for everybody. Did make a video about it, so definitely check that out right there. So this is gonna be a very simple four-step process that I have used with many of my consulting clients. They have had phenomenal success. Typically, I would make people pay for this because it's such valuable stuff, but I am revealing this completely free to you, the entire thing today. So if you appreciate that, go ahead, gently tap that like button, and let's jump into it. And I've also included a cheat sheet, which is gonna make this entire process like 10 times easier. I'll put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So go ahead, sit back, relax, pay attention, open up that cheat sheet, and let's jump into it now. So first step, you are gonna go ahead and transfer in all of your existing credits to WGU. So you'd wanna go ahead, contact the counselor, and let them know all the stuff that you've done, your transcript, et cetera. So the reason I say let them know all the stuff that you've done is because they actually accept a lot of stuff that you probably wouldn't expect. So for instance, they might accept work experience, military experience, random little certifications and certificates that you may have have to have taken for your job. And obviously they'll accept any AP, IB, or college credits that you already have. So yeah, go ahead, transfer all that stuff in, pretty self-explanatory. Don't do this step too fast because sometimes there are gonna be a few extra classes that you didn't realize you could transfer in that you're able to. And then once you've done that, they are gonna send you back a sheet that shows all the remaining classes that you have to take. Once you've gotten that back, you're gonna go ahead and move on to step number two, which is you are gonna go ahead and test out of many of the remaining classes. And you're gonna be doing this by taking classes from third party companies. Now you might be wondering, why do I need to take classes from third party companies if WGU is so easy and it's a competency-based model. Well, the simple reason is because taking these classes from a third-party company is going to be faster, cheaper, and easier. In fact, a lot of these classes, especially at the entry level, you can knock out in a day. And in some cases, you can even knock out multiple classes in a day using these third-party classes. So the three companies that I recommend using are going to be study.com, sophia.org, and straighterline.com. Now, these three companies are all great, but my favorite one and other experts that I've talked to on this subject's favorite one is study.com. And the reason for that is because typically it's just easier, smoother, they have a better UI interface, the classes tend to be more entertaining, etc. It's just a better overall experience. Now, this particular degree is 41 classes, which is quite a bit. But even if you're working full-time, you have a family, you're very busy, you can very comfortably test out of one class per week, right? So if you do the math there, you can test out of a lot of classes in a very short period of time. And like I said before, if you have more time, you can test out of them much quicker. Now, if you look on the WGU subreddit, there's lots of people who are giving advice on this and kind of giving their anecdotal experience. So this person, for instance, for this particular degree says that you should also check out sailor.com. So go ahead and take a look at that. This person here is telling a guide of how they can test out of 52 of the 129 credits before they even enroll in WGU. You. And here's somebody talking about how one of the classes are extremely easy. So definitely check out the WGU subreddits. They are a great resource. And then of course, make sure you leverage my cheat sheet because that matches up all the classes at study.com, uh, Sophia, and Straighterline with the classes you have to take at WGU. And I'm going to be trying to update that cheat sheet as I go along as well. So definitely check that out. And we'll get into that in a little more detail here in a few minutes. So after you have tested out of as many classes as you can, and you've transferred them into WGU, go ahead and move on to step number three, which is you want to pre-study or pre-game the remaining classes, right? So you're gonna have some classes left, and what you wanna do before you enroll, right, you're not enrolled at this point, is you wanna go ahead and pre-study these classes. So the curriculum is pretty easily accessible, and I also recommend checking out the WGU subreddit. Now, there's a main WGU subreddit, and there's typically a subreddit for the specific degree that you're trying to get, so check both of them out. And they are typically gonna have strategies on there for how to study for and test out of these classes as fast as 
as possible. Also check out the WGU Facebook groups because those groups can have really good strategies as well. And people are typically a little more receptive if you decide to message them. There's also tons of free resources online like Khan Academy or YouTube. If you're the textbook type of person, you can order a textbook on Amazon for relatively cheap. And there's also some really good cheap courses on Udemy you can take for academic type stuff as well. So here's a person on the WGU subreddit who's giving some advice for a class and they talk about how Khan Academy, Socratic and Patrick JMT are great sources for videos and explanations. So yeah, definitely check out the subreddit, very useful. So after you've studied for it, you feel confident, you're gonna finally move on to step number four, which is you are going to enroll in WGU and knock those classes out as fast as possible. Now, the reason why you're pre-studying for these classes and you're doing all this sort of thing is because your goal is to graduate from WGU as quickly as possible, AKA you're enrolled, actually enrolled, AKA you're paying WGU for the shortest amount of time possible. And it's very realistic to only be enrolled in WGU for one to two terms. Now each term, they change their price typically, but it's around like $3,500 or so. So you can realistically graduate from WGU with a legitimate bachelor's degree for about $3,500 and one to two terms. And in many cases, there's grants and scholarships and people end up graduating with zero debt. And if you don't believe me, there's actually videos on the internet of people who graduated from WGU in like two months, like my friend Josh. And there's even people that graduated faster than that with certain degrees. And by the way, Josh graduated with a computer science degree, which is probably the most difficult degree to get at WGU. So if he was able to do a computer science degree with only two months enrolled, I know you're probably much busier and all that sort of thing, but you can still do this relatively quickly. And very realistically, if you're super busy, you've got a family, you've got a full-time job, etc., you can knock these degrees out in two years or less. And that's pretty good considering the average bachelor's degree takes 5.1 years. Now, if you are having trouble with a class while you're enrolled at WGU, definitely contact your instructor. Uh, they can be a great resource. And I think a lot of the times people don't take advantage of that. And this is especially true for more difficult classes like biochemistry or concepts of science. And yeah, you can seriously knock these classes out really quickly once you're at WGU if you have done the pre-study method. So here is a Reddit post from a person who went to WGU to get their teaching license and they felt like the education courses were great and they were prepared to teach. So yeah, WGU is a respected school. Uh, it's ranked in the top 10% of schools nationally. It's also regionally accredited and they typically tend to only give out degrees that have a high likelihood of getting you a job, which I think is really awesome. But yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and go through step by step on how to do this process. And I'm actually gonna use the cheat sheet and take you through step-by-step step an example of how you would do this. All right, so now we're in the cheat sheet and I will quickly go over this. So on the far left, you can see that this is the class ID at WGU. Uh, then you have the name of the class at WGU here. Then you have the amount of units here. And finally, in this cell, you are gonna have the study.com transfers. So, you know, English 104, for instance, matches up with English Composition 1. And if you are able to test out using study.com, English 104, then you can transfer that in for English Composition 1. So the first step, of course, is you're gonna go ahead and transfer in your existing credits. So we'll go to this first tab, this is an example. Oh, and by the way, you can just go file and make a copy if you want. Uh, to do this for yourself, but this is just an example. So the ones that are crossed out, of course, are the ones that you would have transferred in in this, in this example. And as you see, Communications 101, Art, Biology, uh, Astronomy 101, Math 101, etc. So for instance, maybe you took, you know, Math 101 uh, because you took like AP Math in high school or AP Calculus. You also took AP Biology, uh, so you were able to transfer those in. And then you took one semester at a community college and that's how you were able to transfer in the other ones. So you would go ahead and transfer those in. You would get the list back from your counselor, which is gonna look very much like this. So this is kind of basically a cheat sheet. You don't even really need to wait for them. And then you would move on to step number two, which is testing out. All right, so you'd go ahead and test out of all the classes that you can at study.com. Oh, and by the way, I almost forgot. Uh, if you want to save 30% on your first three months with study.com, you can use the code Shane Hummus uh, during checkout. If you appreciate all the hard work putting this together, go ahead and use that at checkout. 
you'll save some money and it'll also help the channel. So I really appreciate that. But yeah, you go ahead, you take these classes, you transfer all of them in to WGU, and then you would go ahead and move on to step number three, which is you would take these remaining classes and you would pre-study them. So you'd go ahead, start pre-studying these classes. And then once you feel really confident about your knowledge, you'd go ahead and roll in WGU and knock these classes out as fast as possible. Now, it is possible to knock all of these classes out in one to two terms, especially if you use the pre-study method. That's gonna save you a ton of time, a ton of money, you don't have to quit your job, you don't have to turn your life upside down, and you can get yourself a fully fledged, fully respected, regionally accredited bachelor's degree online, flexibly, and that's WGU for you. Like I said before, WGU is a phenomenal option for a lot of people out there. It is not for everyone. There are some pros and cons to WGU, so I highly recommend you check this video out right here.